all right y'all don't know what time of day it is you're watching this video but for me it is just after eight o'clock in the morning uh, about 72 degrees outside just a light uh, three ish mile an hour wind coming from over here fairly low humidity um, it's gonna get up really hot today so I'm glad we're kind of shooting early the first thing we're gonna do today is uh, run through and check out a couple of different parts that I have for this gun right now. I've got uh, an ASC 25 round magazine. Uh, just picked this up yesterday and kind of want to give it a try while we warm up the gun. The second thing, um, and you might have noticed it right away, is a muzzle brake right up here. This is the, um, and I'll, I'm going to put up the exact model for it on the screen because I don't, I'm probably going to screw this up. Um, it is the Gamma 65 I believe uh, from VG Precision. I believe that's the same company as Aero Precision, kind of the same branch, I don't know. You can see I've got it, the gun up a little higher than normal because um, we're just gonna run a few shots through with this longer magazine. Ah, that is, if we can get it in. The first thing I'm noticing I've only got 20 rounds loaded into this um, ASC magazine, and already it's spreading apart the top lips to where I can't, oh, I gotta shove it up in there. Um, I wanna be able to test this longer magazine because I'm figuring that I'm gonna need possibly more than 10 rounds that I have in this Elander when I'm hog hunting. So already kind of one one strike, if you will, for the ASC magazine. I'm not going to shoot off 20 shots. Um, that's kind of a lot of ammo. But I really want to get used to how this muzzle brake shoots before we shoot today's test. The test we are shooting for today um, is the ELD match bullet 123 grain versus the 123 grain AMAX. I'm trying to find a good load for it and get practice for myself with this gun. So those are the loads we're going to shoot up for today. We're going to shoot um, kind of our normal load range that I've shot for quite a bit with AR Comp. 26.6 uh, grains to 27.2 grains, just three loads in each today. But before we get going on that, we're going to warm up the gun, shoot yeah, five or ten shots. I'm going to zing a couple down there at the steel at 200 yards and then um, take a quick group to make sure that we're sighted in at 100 and see where we're at. Let's get going. Uh, this will be my first time shooting with this muzzle brake on, so I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts about it um, from the first time shooting. It's, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to blow my stuff around. Target at 200 yards. Let's see if we can ding a couple steel and then put a group on paper. Actually, it's probably smarter to put the group on paper first, huh? That way we know if we're even close. And we're not just wasting ammo. And I'm going to be looking at the brass for signs of uh, still being overgassed. Okay, let's see how this shoots with the brake on it. That recoil is so much different with the muzzle brake on it. and I, I can stay on target a lot easier. Okay, I'm not quite sure where I'm hitting, so I'm gonna unload, go down range, and post up a bigger target, because we are off by a little ways, but that's okay. I think this is gonna make things a lot easier for shooting groups with that break on there. There is a little bit of a weird, the concussion from it coming back is definitely more intense. Um, but it's getting us on target better, and that's all I'm going to worry about for now. All right. 
chronograph is set up, ready to go. We've got the target at 100 yards, and we're ready to shoot our first group. Um, to keep everything as equal as possible, I'm going to be alternating between the ELD and the AMAX every other group. So we'll go, I'll have to remember to shoot top to bottom, not across the top. Um, so let's get to doing it. First is the ELD with 26.6 grains of AR comp. I'm getting a much better recoil pattern. So much nicer. All right. First group, not great, but chronograph's picking up. Again, through this entire thing, I'm working on my technique, trying to make it the same for each shot. So I've got one. Oh, let's see how badly we're damaged here did not quite cycle fully. Oh yeah, we've got some pretty bad shoulder damage. I'm hoping it fire forms out. Let me pick up all this brass so I know which is which. I'm expecting this last shot to be off. I uh, hope this doesn't explode the cartridge. Nope, and it actually put it right in our little group. And the brass fire formed back to just fine. Good deal. Twenty-three fifty-five on that last shot for our velocity. And four of those shots went into a nice tight little group. I'm gonna give the barrel just a second. And we'll move on to 26.9 grains with the ELDM. I'm slowly getting used to that concussive blast. I'm hoping this is going to be okay for hog hunting and it's not going to be so incredibly annoying with just earplugs in. Alright, well that group was ugly. Okay, so this was going to be our regular load. The load I've been uh, planking with, shooting for practice, all of that. Um, it is 26.9 grains of AR comp with the AMAX. My follow through is not good and I can tell it. Okay, well, most of that group is actually not too bad. And our velocities are right in line with what they were with the ELE. All right, everything's had a chance to cool down. And we're going to go ahead with our last load. This will be 27.2 grains of AR comp, starting out with the uh, ELDM. Make sure to get these earplugs seated good and tight because this thing has gotten a lot louder with the addition of that muzzle brake. No surprise there. Um, I have adjusted the gas block back up just a little bit. So we're going to see if that locks the bolt back for us.
All right, some horizontal stringing there. And our bolt's still not all the way back on that last shot. <laughs> last group with the Amex. That last shot might have been my trigger pull. But what we're seeing is something I hadn't seen before and may be the answer to some of our accuracy issues. We're getting a point of impact change between 26.9 and 27.2 grains. And that might be why our group is spread out when our velocities vary just a little bit. That did throw one shot down uh, where the rest of the shots were impacting on the previous groups. But all the rest of them were up. Uh, let me measure it here. All the rest of those shots were up one whole minute of angle. Almost. Yeah, we're going to call it a minute of angle from the other groups. That makes me think, especially since our primers are still perfectly round, that our problem with the scarring on the brass might be our bolt. We've got our gas dialed in. Uh, we've got our load hitting around 2400 feet per second, 2385 was that last shot that I can see on the chronograph there. And our groups are shrinking up. We may need to go higher with this powder to get where we wanna go. The other thing I see, the Amex consistently outperformed the ELD in our barrel. Um, that's good news for me, cause I still have 800 Amaxes left and only uh, just over 100 ELDs. No, just under 100 ELDMs, I'm fairly certain. So anyway, that's something. Let's uh, get back to the bench and take a closer look at these groups. All right, we're down here at the bench and looking at our target between the ELD and the AMAX. Right away, looking at the target, you can see that the AMAX uh, trumped the ELD on every single group. We're going to mostly ignore the ELDM groups, except for this one was okay with four of the shots going into about an inch. And that's about it. This one I probably could have tightened up a little bit. Um, it looks like by the way they're strung out, but the extreme spread and standard deviation tell a different story. This one had an extreme spread of 102 and an ex standard deviation of 37, which is crazy high. These two before it were quite a bit better. Uh, let me show you this here, if you can even see that on your screen. So on both of these loads, yes, my handwriting is horrible, um, pardon that. The highest charge here of 27.2 grains, um, our standard deviation and our extreme spread opened way up. And it's reflected here on the target. We got a 1.3 inch group on this one and a 1.4 inch group on this one. Neither one very good. Now, we did shoot four of these shots into 0.585, so that's good. And then four of these shots went into 0 0.445, which is crazy tight. If I can keep them under an inch, I'm happy, but at a half inch there, that's just superb. That's four shots in that little space there. There's two in this hole. Anyway, um, what this is telling me here is that I wish we could get to the next accuracy node. Because you can see we've got one here. Our standard deviations and extreme spreads are really tight for both of these charges. Then it opens way up 
on this 27.2 grain charge. I would like to be getting about 2450. I would like to be getting this velocity with the accuracy of the lower loads. But that's just not happening right now. Which makes me think it might be time to move on to a different powder. Um, I've got a can of 8208 XBR and a lot of people have some good results with that. So maybe that's what we will try next. Anyway, overall a mediocre target with one pretty good group here with a total just over an inch. And uh, that was with a velocity of only 2355. So we still have work to do. Uh, I would really like to tighten things up all across the board. Now, my shooting technique is improving drastically. The muzzle brake that we have on here, I think is helping me vastly. And I know it's 100% my own technique because I should be able to shoot just fine without it. But I think it's helping me tighten things up. It's helping me not flinch so much. It's helping the recoil um, be a lot more predictable and I'm really liking it. So stick around. We've got lots more to come in 6.5 Grendel. The next video that you will see here hopefully in the next week or two um, is going to be 223. So stick around for that. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. To all you new subscribers, a uh, huge thank you. We have got 28 subscribers now when I last checked and eight of those are within the last week. So thank you guys for helping this channel grow and I hope that I'm providing good content for you. Also, thank you for the feedback I've been getting in the comments. I've been able to use some of your feedback uh, to my advantage here on some of these targets and it's starting to show. Thanks again for watching and have a good one.